And the baby boomers, where do you think it's uh, their thoughts uh, around this? Because uh, maybe they can reject something about the biohacking lifestyle, because I think it's a lifestyle too. It's a new way to see the life and live it. So um, what do you think? Maybe it was a lot of change of mind or what? Well, I just think that everybody expects, still not everybody, but most people in the in the world still expect to um, uh, fall apart. Okay. That, you know, and people say that to me all the time. I can see people in the gym that are in pain and sometimes I'm, I'm a pain specialist. So I'll ask them, they say, you know, what's going on with your lower back? And, oh, you know, it's killing me. And, and they'll say something to the effect of, well, you know, I'm 60. So I'm just, you know, they just, I'm just going to accept this, you know, and you don't have to accept it. You don't have to accept it. If, well, if you can afford it, you, you can do a certain amount of this or, or probably 75% of biohacking is actually diet, exercise, and sleep and some inexpensive supplements. Everybody can do that part of it. Um, and most people that are even middle class could afford a, a stem cell. Um, like a, if you needed your knee done or your elbow or your neck or your lower back, you could afford it in yeah. Cabo because it's under, you can do that for under $10,000 no matter what it is. Yeah. So most people can come up with that. And now we have different generations like baby boomers, the X uh, generation, these uh, new ones that are attached to the, to the social media, TikTok and everything. If they want to improve and start early, earlier, not uh, like in the 40s or 50s, what will be a recommendation? 